Guys, so I'm down at uh, Canberra Dock today, just using some salted rag and lug. There's a slight gap in the weather, as you can see. It's nice and uh, nice and sunny, no cloud. There's a bit of wind, but I'm sort of tucked out of the way of it here. Sorry, if you can hear that noise, just got the white link coming in behind me. Um, my first drop, I had a nice little rattle. And uh, can you guess what it is? Here we go, look. Just hiding under my coat there. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks a bit big for a shore crab. And it's not the right colour on that for the velvet swimming crab. So, if anyone sort of knows, then uh, let me know. It's probably just a shore crab. But, uh, yeah, it's quite a big one. It's got big claws. But we'll get it back. There we go, I got a little bite. I might have to downsize my hooks. So I'm getting a couple of little bites, just not hooking them. But this one seemed a bit more promising. Come on. Don't stop biting now the camera's on. There we go, see that? I'll get in there again. Seems to be a little hole down there. Just don't want to get snagged because I left all my weights at home. So I've got just this uh, one weight and a like an ounce inline weight as well, so too heavy for this rod, but I'll have to use it. There we go, guys. Just had to cut the loops and tie on these smaller hooks. Gone right down to a size 16 freshwater hook just there. I've got various sizes of uh, other hooks which come in this little pack. This is a brilliant, you get like, I don't know, maybe like 500 or a thousand hooks and it's like a fiver. <clears throat> I dropped mine so they're all mixed up. But I mean, you got some half decent sort of chinoo looking things. <clears throat> right down to your, I don't know what you can see there, but your smaller hooks. And this is perfect for uh, LRF fishing and that. You don't need nothing else. I've not had a problem with any of them breaking or bending or not being sharp. So this is what I'm using bait wise. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if, well, trying to figure out if you can see what I'm seeing. Those are salted bits in there. And all I'm gonna do just thread it on not too big but this one's gone a bit funny guessing this is a lugworm they don't salt very well anyway I just thought I'd chuck it in anyway. Get a bit of the rag. Put it on this one. I've had this stuff, well the rag anyway, for about, well for at least six months now. And it's still really good. Nice and tough. So. If you've got any ragworm left over, salt it up, get it nice and tough, and leave it in the cupboard. Don't smell. So, you know, and if you're ever out and about, or you fancy going out fishing, but the tackle shops are shut, you've got your salted rag. The species I've caught on it are red mullet, gurnard, bass, um, dogfish, white in pout, 
conger eel, you know, anything will take it still. So, don't waste it. There we are, four hooks, because it's February. Fishing's slow. Normally come down here, just one hook, one rod, and uh, you know, you'll be constantly catching, so. Right, now I'm untangled. Let's drop it down and see if we can get one. I don't know if you can see how that rod tip's just moving there. But uh, I'm 99% sure that that's a crab. Guys, coming up. Do it slowly. Yep, a big old crab there, but well, and a fish was there too. There we go, velvet swimming crab and a little goby. Can I get them both in? Oh, the crab come off. But changing that hook size going down it's on the fresh water hook come on stay still there we go guys Beautiful little goby there. Gorgeous fish. But, uh, yes, we'll get it back. There you go, straight off. Have we got any bait on there? Yeah, we got enough. Here we go, fish on. It's just come and slammed it. What have we got? Oh. There we go, guys. Wasn't expecting that. Got a white in. There we go. What a result. Perfectly lip hook there. There we have it. Beautiful little whiten. See, these fish go back best if you nose dive them in. See that, and it gets the oxygen straight through their gills again, and they're off. What a result. Get that back down where we were then. Just had a little bite. Come on, you can't bite it and then cut not come back. See if I can feel anything. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Come on, come back. There we go. Another white M. I'd like a Pollock, not had one this year yet. Uh, where's this hook? 
and pull that worm out. It's only just hooked, but it's in there a bit deep. I'll see if I've got Discordia with me. I should have. There it is. <coughs> Got a long nose pliers, short nose, and a disgorger. It's always good to have a selection with you. But this is my go-to, my favourite thing to use. There we go. There we go, look. Lovely little white em. Straight back down. So far guys, today's been a success. I wasn't expecting to um, catch anything down here to be honest. Like I said before, it's been, it's been a bit barren. But um, it's just a lovely day. Apart from that bit of wind, you know, it's, it's mainly blue sky. So I thought with all, this, uh, with all these storms and that and another one coming in, better make the most of it and uh, get down here. Two whiting and the goby so far. That's good going. It's February. Just can't wait for um, for it to warm up and all the rats and that start coming back in. Sorry, I'm just looking at my rod tip over there. But um, yeah, we got a spinnaker tower just there. We got the white link going to the Isle of Wight, and that was the Ben Ainsley building. Lovely little dock. Like quite a busy one though. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully we get some more fish, guys. That's me done for today, guys. Fishing's died off again, so uh, I'm assuming that it's high water now and we're in the slack. Uh, wind's picking up. Clouds coming in. Sort of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. Just a nice quick video nice to get out during this bad weather and uh, catch a few fish so yeah I'll see you on the next one